Hello guys, uh, Pop Culture here, here bringing you a review of Transformers Universe Smokescreen. No longer called classics in the 25th anniversary line because um, they just went because they're celebrating all the different series and the classics are now being called Generation 1 series. Not a big deal, but it is a big deal in the sense that. Um, if you're like alternate your smoke screen here where you update yourself as you move through time and become a different um, modern race uh, rally car as you move um, through through the decades in from um, being a Datsun to a Subaru um, European dirt rally car then um, try and I'm not going to transform it, but I'll show you 8 instead of 38, one of the flip, flip guns that of all the arcs, 8. And um, McKinnon Lindstrom Subaru. Basically, um, yeah, alternator smokescreen. Uh, he's a really cool figure. He's uh, one of the arcs. RX eights. Oh. Here's his gun. If you're interested. It's a black and red gun. It's just pink. Alternator smoke screen has a better paint scheme fitting to classics, and that's all I really wanted to touch on. Because it moves like a transformer that has actually been around and existing for twenty five years. But we're talking about this guy, um, who's essentially since he's generation one series, it appears exactly as he did in Generation 1, as did Cybertron Smokescreen choose to do. Get out of here. He's vehicle mode. Um, smokescreen rolls really well. He is good. The only thing I disagree with on the paint scheme is the use of yellow up here on the tail section. Um, the main thing I don't reason I don't like this is because these are his knees, and it's kind of makes him look fruitier in um, robot mode than he needs to be. But I guess that can't be avoided if you are going for a completely accurate Generation One series smokescreen. He has a really nice um, Autobot symbol here. It's really striking, but perhaps a bit too striking for my camera, but. There's an Autobot symbol there, and it's and it's pretty cool looking, uh, just like Silver Streaks. The paint is not tacky paint like on a Silver Streak and Prowl. It is actually smooth and good. And if you were going to just buy one over the other two, uh, I'd make it a um, smoke screen just to avoid the tacky paint. Anyway, I seem to have misplaced his gun. Hold on. Universe cars, they um, very much homage in their transformation design, the, the alternators. And this is one of the reasons I think so. It's because the gun is a, um, a flip-out gun. And the Generation 1 guns don't do that. The alternator guns did. Uh, it also helps with their storage and vehicle mode. Again, another alternator like homage. If you've made holes in there, I don't need to show you again. Uh, okay, let's start transforming. It's really easy. Just pop out the feet. Remember to pull out on these panels on the bottom to get the extra bit of foot articulation you want. And it also gives him a little added height, just pulling out on that click joint down there. Come on, you. Now these side panels, I will mention, can always be a little tricky. Sometimes you'll have to pop them off the ball joint, but there is a method to the madness if you can do exactly what I'm doing here. Rotating it into this angle, rotating up, that's how you're supposed to transform the doors, but 
sometimes it's a little tight oh my goodness a flawless transformation of the of the wing doors on camera that's spectacular finally you come on maybe I have to unhinge it first unhinge the back okay we're getting up here uh, funny neck some people don't like the funny neck and they mod it uh, because I put the launchers up to draw attention away from this area <clears throat> and just because I'm a purist with my toys I don't like modding them but um, as you can see now the red gun in hand nice nicely in hand it, it kind of blends a bit too much with the arm I think it just looks like it's a part of the arm because it's it's also the same color of red it's the same molded plastic red that they're using for the rest of the body should have picked another color uh, but you do get double hand pegs so you can have them do wield weapons if you want I happen to have um, There are more than 24 points of articulation on this figure, and there's really nothing that I would add. There's nothing more that could really be engineered into this design to make it any better, to make it any more poseable. Uh, it's, it's just sometimes it's a bit fiddly, but other than that, it's perfect. And this is the most perfect deco of the mold considering the paint has finally been fixed uh, even if you're not a fan of the character of Smokescreen it was basically a um, plastic figure and one worth troop building definitely he was a bit of a pain to get out of Walmart computers though because they didn't have the computer code registered yet uh, you might want to wait a while if you wanted to get it from Walmart. I heard that Target is letting them out. So, um, but I had to fight some Walmart computers to get and um, Walmart cashiers. To I recommend you pick up this figure if you're interested in getting the Autobots version of the Seekers. Um, I guess you would call them the Rollers or the Runners or something. But um, interesting. Autobot Elite um, Ground Forces, uh, Smokescreen Silver Street Pro. I'm sure I've mentioned that a couple times, but um, now you can finally get them all. And um, whatever you think, um, if you're interested in getting them all, if you're only interested in getting one, get Smokescreen. That's all I can say. It's good.